that the Tesla egg was hidden at Coit Tower. We better find him before someone else does. shipping containers. It's nearly impossible to lift the lids on these without anti-gravity lifts. Maybe I can find a set around here. Maybe. Uh, we got here. It's a pair of anti-gravity lifters. It's a pair of anti-gravity. Getting the points. Now which one was it again? I took the elevator to the top and waited for Slade, according to Manus instructions. <clears throat> Hello, mate. Hello, mate. What you got there? The stuff bad dreams are made of. Looks like the Tesla egg. Well, this Ooh, is like the worst shot. designed doorstop ever. Oh, I beg to differ. It's like a little piece of plutonium in an atomic bomb. I think it's Capri's. You know the effects it had on you? Dreams? Visions of Donnelly? Apparently that's just a hint of what it's capable of. Come on, Slade. You're not buying into this crap, are you? Between you and me, I don't think it'll work. The translator does. And he's promised us a big payout for this egg. And if one person's willing to pay that kind of money, it's usually others willing to pay So let's have it, partner. Mantis finally got his revenge, and Slade got what he deserved. Yep. All right, so now what do we do? So look at the. I don't seem to have an egg on me. This Geiger. Will... The oscilloscopes on the Spirit Radio. Eat... I'm gonna do it, go back to my office, I guess. Murphy! Yeah. He's definitely an Aussie as well. I'm trying to tell you some. Day 11. Two days very quick. This immortal coil. Or. Apocalypse Pow. I lay in a semi-conscious state, hearing fragments of conversation between Dalton and some other guy. I'm transported to a location New in New Mexico where underground nuclear testing experiments were carried out in the 1950s. I remember a map where all the Titan reactors around the world were linked together to one location, the launch pad of the Immortal Coil. Time to play up my last hand. As far as I'm aware, by the way, <clears throat> Nikola Tesla never made any kind of weapons. The Tesla coil was a way of getting energy from the atmosphere. That's what the FBI took. Well, everything, just in case.
J.T. Donnelly. Do you have to sneak up on people all the time? You see that rather large, old-fashioned looking piece of equipment? That was your home for a very long time. Feels like a castle. Yeah, it's how I got here for my home planet, Altair 4. And you have the egg. Wonderful. Egg looks plastic. I must confess, I'm surprised to see you. Dalton and Slade were convinced you'd never bring the egg here voluntarily. We made a deal. Yeah, well, a deal's a deal. You said you'd get my memory back if I brought you the egg. Still, unlike me, they knew you way back when, when they used words like idealist, naive, dartboard, punching bag. I've always been an idealist myself. But I find it's the pragmatists, like Dalton and Slate, who get things done. Without Dalton, I wouldn't be here. And Dalton wouldn't have had the opportunities he did if Slade hadn't helped him rise through the ranks of Gideon Enterprises. And Slade wouldn't be here if I hadn't returned the favor and got him out of prison. Does it matter? Dalton and Slade have been working on this since Overlord? How long has this thing been going on? So he's got one blue eye and one brown eye. Tex. You've been a big part of what's got us to this point. It's just a light there. Surely you know by now that you were J.T. Donnelly. <laughs> Protector, hired gun, and confidant of Nikola Tesla. I'm sorry Nikola Tesla never had a hired gun. He wouldn't have ended up a pauper if he had one. Incredulous, I am. What? Are you saying I'm J.T. Donnelly? Right. You don't believe me. But how do you explain your vision to Donnelly's his head. life? Well, I think it's the Tesla aim. Donnelly hid it in the wall of the apartment. I didn't even start having the dreams until I moved in. The spirit radio allows us to communicate with the dead, not the egg. The egg merely amplifies it. Yeah. Well, I had a radio. I mean, there are other explanations, but I got to admit, they all sound insane to me. Mr. Melodramatic. And yet you can't deny the visions. The egg may have had an effect on your subconscious, your, your spiritual DNA. Spiritual you DNA? Messages you were remembering. Everything has led to this. A reunion of consciousness. But not just for you, for us all. This is what Tesla intended. His death ray, the spirit radio, the Tesla Sorry. egg, no all way. brought together to create a celestial conduit, the immortal coil, that will redeem and purify this depraved planet and create a literal heaven on earth. True immortality, timelessness, no sickness, death, or pain. All needs met and achieved through the genius of Tesla! There is a belief that he created uh, anti-gravity as well. If you would be so kind as to step out there and place the egg. I've seen no evidence. But then, the I don't think anyone else has either. Because, you know, if the FBI took all these papers, how would we know what he did? I think it was his... Uh, daughter or something. Why are you hiding behind a metal... Well... Oh, you can see he's walking on the spot, can't you? In front of the green screen. Very dramatic. It does look like kind of 50s electronics, lots of valves and stuff. 
There it is. This is Spirit Radio. This is, I guess, a Tesla coils. Right. Sounds like a medium, but she's on the wrong side. <laughs> radio. Got to help me, Margaret. I, I can hear you, but, but you sound so far away. Tex? I'm getting some Tex? initials. I can't see anything, but I can hear you. I have no sensation. It's as though I'm floating in a void. Where am I? So that's a timer. So I haven't got a lot of time. I've got a minute to do three levels of this thing. One, two, three. Got to turn these. That's uh, one for that one. Two for that one. Three for that one. Okay. So you go yellow and then blue. Times oh, I can do this. Right, that's one. the last level. So yes, then. Transinducer on you. It restored you to whom you were. Don't go back. Tell me how to get my memory back. I can't do that, Tex. You are the sum of your memories. I took things from you. Repressing your dark memories was my way of atoning for what I did. How do I destroy the immortal coil? Find the frequency. The one I found. The one Tesla found before me. It will destroy itself. There'll be no way they can stop. 
I'll get that first one right. That's it. Now, so that was right where it was. So this one's got to change. Now, do two. I did it! I don't believe it. I swear that thing is damn near impossible. Thank God. I've done that about ten times. Lots of swearing, I can assure you. I don't like that puzzle at all. Getting worse, sir. Notice how the translator stays in the booth. Charles is going to die over there. Wait, I think Charles is already outside. He's running on the spot, obviously. Yeah, the way he's moving his arms, it's not natural running at all, is it? God for that. It's not the end of the game, but... Or is it? No, I don't think it is. Oh, there's 12. Okay. Once it's done this thing, I'll end this episode. I take a long elevator ride to the surface and make a few calls to get some help. It's a pretty good time to reflect on all that's happened. It's obvious to me that Margaret injected me for a reason. She knew the man I'd become over the last seven years had become too treacherous to trust anymore, and she was right. 
That night of the injection, I must have made a deal with the devil to betray her and Mason, and the 50 Gs were my 30 pieces of silver. Margaret knew instinctively I was going to betray them, and that's why she broke away earlier. But I think she also knew that the man I was seven years ago would do the right thing and try to stop the translator. That's why she only erased my memory for the last seven years. I guess each of us had sins we needed to atone for. Now I've got to find out how all of this is going to play out. tracking app on your smart Alex when you let me download that video of Bowers. Serves me right for trusting a cop. You've been tailing me the whole time? No, I wanted to trust you, I really did. But you're a suspect in some unsolved cases, and I thought, possibly and quite likely, you'd go back to your old M.O. at some point. Tex Murphy, you're under arrest. You're arresting me? For what? the murder of Jim Slade and another as yet unidentified male. I didn't have anything to do the with The bodies it. were thrown from Coit Tower, and we have witnesses that saw you leave the scene immediately after. Now I can explain that. It's... I understand. Slade was a very bad man, and probably deserved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told you before, I won't tolerate vigilantism. Lieutenant, wait. I have some oh, no, evidence of a mass murder that took place at the Tesla Legacy Society. It's related to at least three unsolved disappearances in your jurisdiction. That's very interesting, and we'll talk about it as soon as I make this arrest. No, hold on. Slade is the one who led this mass murder. You have evidence of this? I've got everything. Eyewitness testimony, sworn affidavits, even security video of the attack. You can resolve a bunch of cases and give closure to the victim's families. And in exchange for this evidence? Let Tex go. He's done nothing wrong. If he'd come to you, you wouldn't have been able to do anything. He risked his own life to do the right thing. I think he's a hero. She is gorgeous, isn't she? This is the last exception I make for you. Well, fine by me. I mean, when am I going to find myself in this situation again? You get those files to me? Right away. Thank you, Lieutenant. So, you saved my bacon. I kind of like your bacon. Well, I kind of like yours. Used to somebody saving me. But that's what partners do, right? What do you say, Cal? Yeah, what do you say? Hmm? I say it's been a while since I saddled up, but I like your form. I think you'd be impressed with the end? how well I performed down the back stretch. Well, I must say oh. you're pretty impressive coming out of the Oh, game. okay, I guess this is the last part. Who's in the saddle. Are we talking about the same thing? I, I know what I'm talking about. I don't think that is the end. No. Ten months later. Maybe it's not a perfect okay, world, I'm gonna play but this it's out. the best I've got. I might have been somebody else over the past seven years, but I'm ready to leave that behind me. I've been given a second chance, and I intend to make the most of it. I sense this is just the beginning of something bigger. And what comes next may not be easy. But then again, what is? Oh. Well, I'll let this play out. Thank, thanks for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed the series. Please come and write and subscribe.
interrupt your programming here at New San Francisco Voice Channel 6 for an urgent bullet. A tragedy in our fair metropolis today is all three members of the Knights Templar without a K have been found murdered in the sewers near Telegraph Hill. The images we're about to show are graphic and may be upsetting to some viewers. This trio of self-proclaimed superheroes have, according to their blogs, been protecting our city from the forces of darkness and, indeed, violent crime is down almost half a percent putting our crime rate only slightly higher than Syria. Recent tweets from the victims describe battles against an invading army of Morlocks, the fictional characters from H.G. Wells' time machine. When asked to comment on the slain crusaders, one police officer at the scene said, quote, hell, they probably killed each other on accident. So while we may not have witnessed the gallant exploits of these stealthy vigilantes, or even once experienced the terror and destruction of demon spawn, it is with a heavy heart that we here at the New San Francisco Voice say to the Knights Templar without a K, thank you. Now back to your regularly scheduled program.